Welcome back. It is the Flow Friday Sports Show here on Flow FM, and it's time to take a look at North Central Netball. And the president of the association, Kylie Walsh, joins me on the line. Kylie, so good to have you on the line again. How are you? Good, thank you, Alex. Thanks for having me. So we had a really great headspace round last week with the North Central Football League with our team of teammates matter. So that was shining through all codes, and that was great. Congratulations, to everyone involved. Did we get plenty of green? We had lots of green, yes, and we had headspace there with the uh, various staff. They did presentations, so it was really nice. It was a great atmosphere. You speak of it being a great round, Kylie. Let's speak about some of the results. So we'll start with St. Arnold and Wedderburn. So how did this one go? Well, there were no surprises with this game for some of us. <laughs> uh, Wedderburn, <laughs> Wedderburn were dominant across the court, and there was, they had read breathing space on the scoreboard, so they'll be able to tr- they were able to try different combinations for future reference. But Wedderburn had a comfortable win over Sonata, 66 to 22. Oh, you said that with some real tongue-in-cheek there, Kylie. Um, <laughs> we'll pretend that neither of us made any sort of outlandish prediction last week. Uh, we'll move on to Birchett Watcham <laughs> and Bort. Uh, was this a close one? Uh, it was, yeah. It was another spectator's um, great, great game to watch. It was quick and evenly matched throughout the first part of the game. And then bought Emerson Doyle, Grace Hosking and Roxy Tran train um, shut down the flow of Bertha Watson's ball movement and created headaches in the goaling circle for the Bulls. Bertha Watson were able to compose themselves and claw back some of the early deficits, but the height and strength of Bort's key goal of Steph Wilson was far too much for the Bulls' defence and Bort ended up winning... 46 to 34 over Birch at Watchman. Okay, now Nullawool up against Donald. Did they continue their good form and their surprisingly good form? I think I might have tipped them last week. Yeah, we well, we both did. And I had a couple of very excited Donald A graders bounce up to me on Sunday and were thrilled to advise that we got this tip wrong. Oh. So it's nice to know they're listening, but goodness, the pressure of tips. Ella, oh. um, I'm told that. <laughs> Donald played a calm and mature game and in turn they were able to uh, conduct confident drives and control over Nullawool. Nullawool kept chipping away um, but the dominance of Addison Funk in goals and aided by her youthful mid-court teammates around her um, enabled another goal of goaling freedom. So I feel that the lessons learned from previous rounds for Donald and playing in the A-grade competition is beginning to benefit this Donald side. And they won against Nullarbor 55-47. to 47. Another close one, and you do speak mm. there of the pressure on tipping. I don't even know why I put my <laughs> foot in it, Kylie, but I can't help myself sometimes. Uh, I'm just going to leave it to you, I think, given that we've had this feedback. Um, sea Lake Nandali Tigers up against Witchy Narraport. This was always going to be a big game. Did it deliver? Well, as anticipated, I don't think the final score represented the actual game. Just breaking down my quarter, it, compl- it looked reasonably close. Both teams seem comfortable with their combinations on court. And sometimes when this happens, it allows the game to flow naturally. Players gain their no- momentum and an understanding of their opposition. But um, which proof narrow for court certainly benefited from a stronger second and third quarter over the Tigers. And they took out the win 47 to 30. So it was close in the end. All right, Carly, we're talking round eight, and there's a number of good games to look forward to. We've got Bort up against St. Arnold. I dare say that this one's only going to go one way. I agree with you. Um, yeah, I think top of the ladder board will be far too strong and faster than Arnold, and they'll win comfortable. comfortably. Sorry. Yes, I don't think too many people will tip against us with that one, but you never know. We might have some more players coming up and uh, getting in your ear on the weekend, but I doubt it. Wedderburn up against Nullawool. Uh, do Nullawool return to the winner's circle this week? Well, I think this is going to be a benchmark game for Nullawool playing second place Wedderburn. It's going to be a terrific game to watch. So I don't know whether, like you said, last week's loss against Donald will stumble Nullawool a bit. Uh, it's going to be a close anticipated game. I'm tipping Wedderburn to stamp their dominance over the newcomers Nullawool and take home the win, but just. Donald, they host Sea Lake and Dally. They'll go into it with some form behind them. So do you give them a, uh, do you rate them as a good chance in this game, Kylie? Yeah, I do. Um, I think it's going to be a great game for both clubs. So I think it will be cl- um, close, but Donald are upbeat and they'll certainly, certainly have a spring in their step and a bit of confidence and certainly self-belief after last week. So I think they'll continue their positive ride and win over the Tigers. Which in Airport go into their game against Charlton 
knowing that Charlton sat out last week. Does that favour the home side much here? Well, I think it does, but it's really hard to fathom that this is fifth place six, but it's probably going to be a lot on the line for which proof now report. They're hunting down fourth position. So I think it's going to be tough and intense, and it could go either way, but I'm just not sure how which proof now report will handle the experience of the combination of Sabrina Thompson and Megan runs in defence. So I think that's going to be the roadblock for Demons. So I'm tipping the Navies uh, with a minor win over, minor margin over the Demons. Bertrand Botcham with the bye. Just looking at the season as a whole, Nullawal, has that been sort of the, um, you know, the, the story of the season for you, seeing them really up there uh, fighting against uh, some real heavyweights and punching above their weight perhaps? Yeah, I I don't know if punching, but I think it's, um, as we said, it's a great addition to have Nullable in our association. But I'm really thrilled with um, overall our A-grade competition and all the other grades. It's really even this season, which is wonderful for spectators and players. So uh, they can step out in the court each week and know that there's um, a great game in ha- ahead of them and great competition. So it's not widespread, the, the, the grades. So it's wonderful as... Um, to have it so close this season. And Kylie, just tell us about the events that took place Sunday, the gala day. I hear it was relatively successful, to say the least. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to pop on my very proud North Central Netball Association president uh, hat and coach hat. I'm thrilled to report that our NCNA 13 under, 15 under and 17 under rep squads had an extremely successful day at North, um, AFL Central Vic Gala Day, as well as the North Central 15 under footy rep team. We won all grades. and In fact, North Central took out the aggregate on the day. So massive boasting moment here but congratulations to all participants and coaches for their success and thank you again to Bendigo Community Bank Charlton for their support um, with our junior development and congratulations to AFL Central Vic for a very well run day so yeah so this weekend will be great having after a few weeks of busy round theme round which has had great awareness of their themes and brought brought to our community but I'm I'm sure our hosting teams will be pleased to have a regular game of sport so I wish everyone uh, good luck on Saturday and I look forward to keeping a keen eye on some of these live scores on Netball Connect uh, throughout the North Central Netball Association and thanks to North West Ag for providing the iPads to all clubs so it's, it's going to be great to watch. And there's only a number of uh, a small number of people driving it such as yourself mainly Kylie so well done to you as well. Kylie Walsh, president of the North Central Netball Association. Really appreciate your time on the line and we look forward to seeing how it all goes this weekend. We'll speak to you next week. Enjoy the netball. Thank you.